status briefing on the Mir space station. What you just uh, saw on NASA television was a replay of a conversation earlier this morning between astronaut Mike Full aboard the Mir. So the uh, temperature has fluctuated somewhat because they've been in and out of the sun and, and uh, have had to shut down some of the thermal control, active thermal control systems. But they're in an attitude now that it provides some shading and it's fairly um, stable uh, within their normal range of 20 to 27 degrees centigrade, which is what we typically have been seeing. Um, the crew itself uh, sounds real good, as you heard. Mike sounded very positive and upbeat. Uh, I talked to him a little while ago uh, myself, and uh, he sounded, uh, as you would expect, uh, as he always does, very upbeat. Uh, in fact, he sees it as quite interesting adventure at this point uh, to reconfigure the batteries and, and uh, work on the problems that they have. Obviously, things have changed for him on a day-to-day -day basis with the loss of uh, some of his science and uh, his, some of his personal effects. As you, asked, he was, as you heard, he was asking for things such as toothpaste, and, and um, that's normal, I think. Uh, he said his crewmates are doing well, though they're tired. Um, they've been working pretty hard for um, the last couple of days, and in fact, they've had a tough mission all around with the problems they've dealt with, but he says they're in good spirits and uh, feel like they're getting good communication with the ground and are waiting to see what kind of plans they come up with for reconfiguring the, the power. here in Houston uh, before going around to the other NASA centers. Uh, John? How bad is it now? How optimistic are you that they're going to be able to save this mission and continue uh, operations on the mirror for the foreseeable future? Once the systems are back online, I think they'll be able to go through their normal day uh, in a pretty ordinary fashion for spaceflight. Um, but as far as the um, uh, seriousness of the situation, I think it's still there and, and we still need to view it as such until we see what our options are. Some industry analysts are concerned that the entire integrity of the craft has been compromised by this breach in the hull. What are your thoughts on that, and what are your thoughts long term then for the Mir project? Well, but uh, right now we have no indication that there are any problems. The pressure is holding very well on the re remaining modules, and uh, we have no have seen nothing in the activity of the solar arrays or motion, at least that's been reported to us, that indicates any other problems.